back to vlogmas the chocolate pancakes were a big hit yesterday and i love the peppermint syrup on them and so now i want to try my hand at making some peppermint ice cream i've made ice cream before at home but never peppermint and it's the perfect time of year for it and i was also sent this zoku ice cream maker it's really tiny so it'll probably just have to be all for me all the ice cream for me sorry kids so anyway, Zoku sent me a little ice cream maker and we are going to make some ice cream and it says it creates gourmet ice cream in as little as 10 minutes. So I guess I could really make everybody their own, but we're gonna start with peppermint ice cream. Look how tiny and cute that is. So I'm assuming I just mix everything up in here and pop it into the freezer. But we'll read the directions and figure it all out. Actually, it says ice cream, gelato, sorbet, and sherbet. They actually spelled sherbet. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out. So the first step is to place the inner bowl in the freezer for 12 hours. Okay, so we're going to use the Zoku ice cream maker to make some peppermint ice cream. And they actually have several different recipes in the back of the instruction booklet. And I'm going to use the vanilla recipe and I'm going to turn that into the peppermint ice cream. So in this recipe, they want whole milk, sugar, salt, heavy cream, and vanilla extract. And I'm going to add to that some peppermint extract and also some chunks of peppermint to kind of really give it some texture and hopefully it's not going to mess it up too much but that's what we're going to try since they provided some recipes you can see they also have lemon sorbet chocolate ice cream strawberry lime ice cream peach ice cream i'll definitely have to try the peach ice cream later but for now let's go ahead and kind of change that vanilla ice cream a little bit to see if we can make it fit the holiday season Okay, so I've opted to use a glass bowl as once we get everything mixed up, we're going to need to let it chill for just a little bit in the refrigerator so that it can come down to a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think the glass bowl might just help us work that a little bit quicker. So the recipe called for one and a half cups of heavy cream and one and a half cups of whole milk. I'm gonna go ahead and use 2% milk because that's what I have on hand but it will be extra delicious if you follow that recipe with the whole milk. The more fat you get into your ice cream, the better flavor it will have. And it called for some sugar and then some salt. I'm gonna go ahead and get those mixed up before I add in the other ingredients. What I'll need to do is make sure that the sugar and the salt are all dissolved. So now I'll add the vanilla extract and then the peppermint extract. So a lot of recipes call for about three fourths teaspoons of peppermint extract for a batch this size. I'm only going to put in half a teaspoon because I feel like it is very strong. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. And I also have some peppermint chunks and I'll go ahead and add those to this now. So these are just chunks of peppermint chocolates that I purchased and I've kind of crushed them up a little bit. You could also use candy cane and put that through a food processor and add that in as well. But this is what I have so this is what I'm going to use. Okay, everything looks like it's mixed in nice. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in the fridge until it reaches 40 degrees Fahrenheit. We just need to let it chill before we put it into the Zoku bowl, which has been in the freezer overnight. You're going to want to give that at least 12 hours to freeze. So we'll go ahead and pop this into the refrigerator and then we'll make our ice cream. Okay, so our ice cream base has been in the fridge long enough to bring it down to 40 degrees. And we are going to bring it out along with the frozen bowl that we put in the freezer beforehand. And we're going to place the frozen bowl in here. And then we will put about five ounces of the ice cream base into the bowl to start mixing it up. So five ounces is just a little bit more than half a cup. 
And as you see, it fits nicely in there so you have something not so cold to hang on to. And we have this nice little paddle that we'll use to scrape down the base. And it's sort of like a cold stone. So your own little personal ice cream on your personal little cold stone. That's all my peppermint chunks there. And now what you'll do is just sort of roll it around so it starts freezing. I'm just going to scrape it down off the sides as that base just starts freezing up on the side. And you'll notice it getting a little bit harder to scrape off the side. So as you start getting that ice cream on your paddle, just scrape it up onto the little lip there so that you can work on some more. And just keep scraping it up onto the sides so that all of it can really start to freeze against that and just scrape it off as it freezes. And what I'm going to do, because I want it to be even more hard, not so much like a soft serve, I'm going to pop it back into the freezer for about 10 minutes so that I can come up with a more solid ice cream. But feel free to serve it however you would like, if you like it in more of this sort of soft serve state or if you'd like it a little bit harder. Okay, that is a really good soft serve consistency, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it into the freezer now for just about 10 minutes so that I can get it more into the consistency of a scoopable ice cream. Okay, so we had the bowl in there for another 10 minutes and I had it in the freezer for 10 minutes and look at that. That is more the consistency that I like my ice cream. Now you can do it however you like, but I like mine to be a little bit more firm as if it's a, a scooped ice cream. And we'll just continue working this on the sides as we had done before. And so what you'll do when you're all done with, with this, when you get it to the consistency that you'd like, you can eat it straight from this bowl. If you'd like any toppings, go ahead and add them to the bowl. And eat right out of this. And I would suggest that once you're finished with the bowl, you go ahead and pop it right back into the freezer once you've washed it. And that way, whenever you are ready for ice cream, it has already been freezing for you. And you are good to go. Just get your ice cream base ready. You can always have it on hand if you know the types that you like, the base you like. And when it sticks onto the scraper, that's how I want mine. So I'm just going to add some sprinkles into this and I will eat it like that. I already have plenty of peppermint chunks in here, so I'm not going to add any more. I think it has enough of the peppermint flavor. I'm 
And there's your personal peppermint ice cream. I will leave links in the description box below for you to check out the Zoku ice cream bowls. They come in a variety of fun colors. When you mix it up, let me know what flavors you added, what base you used. I look forward to trying those as well.